Hello everyone, it's me, Mel Fa from Bangkok, Thailand. I'm falling in love with adult coloring so much, and today I'm going to unbox one color pencil that I've been seeing it on Shopee long time ago, and I I really like the yellow color. It it caught my eyes but I, I've been telling myself that I have enough kit color pencil until recently I just got into the information of this alligator color pencil that uh, it used the same technology that used with Faber Castell color pencil to produce it and it it's CV standard um, I'm sorry I don't really ac actually know what CV stand for but they describe that CV standard um, make the lead stronger and not easy to to break and the, the barrel and the lead is in one piece this remind me of ruminant color pencil that the the barrel and the the lead is one piece and wow that totally caught my attention to have a look at it again and finally order it and uh the shop i order it they they come with the the free pencil sharpener and the the eraser which which is Faber Castell and I think that 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 seemed to be my kind of collection already I always get a little pencil little sharpener and eraser when when we buy stationery and on the box uh, it claim that the, the special quality is that it, it's smooth, soft, and it's safe for children. And, and of course, as I mentioned before, that the barrel and the lead is built the same technology with Faber-Castell. So it's one, one piece. I, I'm not sure if Faber-Castell is one piece. I don't know about that, but I, I know that Faber Castell is wonderful color pencil. I, I don't know if anyone know, please, please enlighten me. <laughs> and and I am not disappointed at all. Uh, the box come in a perfect condition and look look even prettier than in the picture. Bright yellow and the barrel is hexagon and it, they don't. They don't tell the size of it, but I got a feeling that it's a kind of slim color pencil, also slim late and and the the biggest set I have seen is thirty six set and as you can see that i I still uh don't don't get used to it the box like this, so i I just take everything out of the box so you can see all the colors and of course when I really use it when I actually use it I rearrange it and then I can see the the colors the color palette better which I am quite satisfied a lot of pinks uh, a lot of red and come with a white gray black pencil and many orange I feel like oh, even uh, there are only 36 color pencils in the set, but um, I'm satisfied and it's, it's abandoned. I mean, I mean, it's plenty enough for me to to color. And I I noticed that uh, the prints on the barrel, uh, the wood, it looks neat. Like, I think they have good QC and it been sharpened somehow it's been sharpened quite well and 
There's no color name, no color number, but I can see a very, very small on your left hand. It's like, I don't know what it is, but it's like coat or something, and it's different on each individual. I don't know what it is. And uh, the leg seem to be center. So I feel kind of better <laughs> that okay I made the right decision to 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 order another set and and the red color the the print that is on it uh it's it's been printed very well clear uh, I I noticed some brand the prints are blur or mislocated or whatever, but I feel like they have good QC. It looks it look neat. It looks professional to me. So I have to test it with my daily sharpener. Would it be good like I expected? Wow, and surprisingly, it sharpens so easy, and I can feel that the wood is soft. I'm, I'm not sure if it's as soft as a uh, well-known artist brand, but for the same, same grade, color pencil grade, it considers soft and very smooth sharpening, and... Um, I'm so happy with this set and that's why I'm trying my best to make this video in English. I'm not sure if you can find it on Amazon, but since since it is belong to Faber Castell company, so I think if you really interested, I think you you can find it. So here I come. Not all the pencil that I swatch, but this one is special to me, so I, I swatch. I decide to swatch, and you can see that the sharp point is, is very good. Um, you know, you can see. And uh, uh, this color pencil reminds me of uh, the Stabilo. Stabilo original, the golden metal tin, uh, because uh, Stabilo color pencil is small lead, slim barrel, and and this one is the same. And I, I normally I, I I like the feeling of chunky color pencil, but also I love slim color pencil as I can do small details easier especially if it's strong lead but for the stabilo original uh it's water soluble as well this one i i don't know it only remind me of that stabilo because how slim the barrel and the, the lead and it's not just slim there are so many color pencil that slim like this but the lead not strong this one, the, the lead is pretty strong, but it doesn't give you a very, very bad feeling. It's not a soft pencil, but it's not aggressive pencil. I mean, it's not like hard, like bad feeling when you use it. It still gives you a little bit of soft touch and shocky feeling, kind of dry feeling, like give you give you the, the first impression is waxy color pencil but definitely I guess there must be a lot of oil in it as it's strong and for the pigment I'm a little bit disappointed because maybe I I set my expectation too high when it's Faber Castell polychromos is artist grade and this one is children grade or just studio grade well but I can tell you that in my opinion uh, they are average middle range pigmented it's not 
bad at all, and it depends on the paper too. You might find out better or a little bit worse than I, I do. But I think you will find out it's at least average pigmented, and and what what is so unique for Faber Castell that I have noticed uh, whether it's polychromos or is classic. Faber Castell included one alligator is how smooth it lay down on the paper. So smooth. So even it's not super pigmented, it's only average, but because how smooth, how easy it lay down, it gives me very good feeling and I love the way it stays sharp point long. So and the 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 box is very pretty yellow color is like it's so pretty if you want to take picture of your work with the the color pencil box is is great or even you put it somewhere it's lovely and it's a little bit remind me of Crayola Crayola is also yellow right and by color psychology yellow it it means stand out and this one really stand out so if you ask me what is this color pencil suitable for I would say it's suitable for everyone who love to collect color pencil it's suitable for uh, people who like to do detailed works with color pencil or drawing because the, the lead is very nice and is suitable for person who who I don't know the word in English but I like the color pencil that give you an, a smooth silky texture not thick like also like to be honest uh, I like for example Prisma color I I like it but I don't love it because I think it's difficult for me to use and I don't like the way that the the texture is thick it's it's thick when it lay down on the paper as it's wax base right but for the mostly oil based color pencil I noticed that it's smooth uh, smooth layer like it's smooth down into the paper just just like this one and for for a nice cheap set I would say this worth it and how much I bought it I bought it 170 THB but that is Thai currency um, to convert it to USD um, I think it is about it's, it's about four five USD for 36 sets and I am happy with it um, I feel that it has a character I like to collect pencil that has character and I I often I often use all of them I it's like I, I like different because you know different work uh, different pencil and um, different feeling so it's nice it's it's boring for me if I buy the color pencil and it's give me the same feeling with that pencil this pencil then it's just like it's just like um the same pencil anyway and okay by the way i have seen people asking in our group about h and b color pencil i know it's not about this video but uh, i saw the question if h and b color pencil the same with blue thinner and color i would say no uh my my favorite preference is blue fender and then H&B and color is the last color for me is too soft and it doesn't glide on all the paper and H&B I think I, I love it it's quite nice but blue fender is a little bit more pigmented than H&B and it gives you a little bit more of wet feeling you know and H&B is more like dry 
feeling. Well, I'm sorry, it's not about the video. Since you are watching this video and I am watching all the video, so I think I would like to share my opinions to that question in our group. And I hope you you do enjoy the the video. And if you see it's useful, please share like and for the more video in the future which i'm trying my best to improve my channel and i'm trying my best to make it bilingual but my english is so limited and i am learning how how to do the video maker also but because this one i i am impressed well based on my own opinion i must say so i i really love to share this video to you guys and uh, even in my channel some of the video most of them are in Thai but I think by just looking at it you maybe get a clue what I'm doing and also I believe that there are some website or Google translation I'm not sure because sometimes when I've been um, surfing around the YouTube internet and it's it's not English language, but uh, I don't know. It's internet translation or something. So it, it translated in Thai subtitles. So I, I hope it will be the same. So so uh, I'm saying this to ask for your supporting. <laughs> I would I very appreciate if you subscribe my channel Color With Me. Thank you for watching. See you next video. Happy coloring.